FCV staff, I hope you are all having a very restful and rejuvenating fall break. I know this email is lengthy, but I wanted to get all of this new and important information to you in one email, so please bear with me. Feel free to use your universal reader tool on your Lenovo to read this to you so you can get through all this info quickly, and even multitask if you would like. That is how I read any email longer than three lines long. You can also go to where I have recorded YouTube video of this email being read if you rather listen. As we approach our new start with our FCV scholars for Q2 on Tuesday, I wanted to inform you of a few things that will be impacted by schedule changes. You have all done such a great job learning about and implementing 21st century teaching and learning in your classrooms to prepare our students for their future. I wanted to make sure your hard work was not interrupted or burdened by the schedule changes now that we no longer have the Skyward Sync in place for our learning management system, LMS, my big campus, BC. Because MBC is our home base or virtual chalkboard accessible to all of our students and parents 24-7 for their 21st century needs, I wanted to make sure things would transition smoothly for all. Jeremy and I are almost done getting all the new Q2 groups created and assigned to you as the owner. I wanted to send out a master list of your new group names and let you know that the kids will self-join your new groups when they get their new schedules Tuesday. I have four points to cover in this email. One, attached master list. MPC groups for quarter two Fall Creek Valley MS. Example of how to read master list, administration, department, Luce Sow, owner, FCV 2013-2014, Luce Sow, FCV principal, group name, FYI, groups are listed as they appear by department on the FCV website. Group names are based on the new master schedule. Students will type in FCV 2013-2014, teacher's last name in caps to search for their new period groups on Tuesday, so please keep your group names as they appear on this list until all of your students have joined. I will have a student video emailed to you in written instructions for this in your mailboxes by Monday. 2. I will provide all info you will need to know about MBC groups in dandy packet for your convenience in your mailboxes by end of day Monday. Some items you may like to look over for your new Q2 groups include how to merge any of your old group's info resources to your new groups. For instance, if you would like to include calendar events created during Q1 resources and pages you created in your old groups, you may want to merge them into your new groups. Asterisk asterisk be very careful not to merge group members though. How to add or delete group members. Just in case some of your kid do's do not self-join or join the wrong period. How to archive our old groups so they are hidden and do not blutter up your current active groups when you are creating schoolwork, especially for students who use the universal reader for IEP, test read, and calendar events for your students' digital assignment notebooks. This will also help your old students clean up their groups because your last year kids and kids you lost from Q1 still see your group as an active group on their end unless it is archived or they ask to be removed. Archiving old groups still allows you to keep all the content from those groups, it just hides them so they do not show up as active. 3. Schedule Technology Integration Professional Growth Sessions on our October calendar for the Universal Reader Program are as follows. October 23rd, 7th and 8th grade ELA Department and Co-Teachers. Lab 500, 8 a.m. October 29th, 7th and 8th grade Math Department and Co-Teachers. Lab 500, 8 a.m. October 30th, Elective and Non-Departmentalized Content Teachers. Lab 500, 8 a.m. Remember to bring 1. Your next test, progress monitor, or quiz. 2. A list of your students with an IEP for needs tests read. 3. Your Lenovo you will leave this session with something that can be used with your students right away. Please feel free to join us if you miss your department's session or if you would like to brush up on any information. For myself, Jeremy, and the e-learning coaches can provide small group PD sessions based on prep periods if you wish to have us model and walk you through anything. Please email me, and we will schedule a time that works for you. Some things you may want to learn or brush up on are group merging, group archive, and using exam view to easily make test quizzes and assignments to be saved in a universal format that can be quickly downloaded to MBC Schoolwork, creating schoolwork for use of universal reader for students, especially those with IEP test needs to be read when an IA or co-teacher is not available, review of calendar for students, digital assignment notebook, FYI universal reader, the universal reader can be used by all students and is a great resource tool that all of our students have on their Lenovo. The universal reader is accessible through the Premier at program installed on all Lenovo laptops and MSD LTPCs. Users can find the shortcut for this program on their desktop. It can help our struggling readers when taking tests so data reflects actual content knowledge, not the student's ability to read a test. It is also a great tool for all students to use when proofreading and editing any of their typed assignments by reading aloud back to them so they can hear and catch mistakes they may have overlooked. Thank you for all you do. Laurie Cheek Ice FCV.